Hi. Okay. All right. Yeah. Baby. Hi. Welcome to my to this YouTube video that I am making. I have made. If you're watching it, I have done it. I've made it. So basically, what this is about is a little project of mine that I made about. I started it last year, and basically, what it boils down to, what this project is, is it is the worst mechanical keyboard ever made. What I did is I took this thing apart. I I I I literally I you can see I taped a I taped a uh, an 18650 holder to the back of here, right? I um. Uh, I, I put a charge controller where the USB cable used to go, uh, and I say used to go because I cut it off and soldered it to a little micro USB, and then um, connected that micro USB cable to a Raspberry Pi Zero. At the time, I thought this was very clever because I was like, "Oh, you can make this work." <laughs> uh, it, it just it just connected. By the way, that's one of the bad things about this. It's slow. It takes a minute to boot up. I have recently dug this thing back up and have decided, okay, well, it doesn't work any, it, it didn't work um, after I had moved because for one, I, I made it connect to like this very specific Wi-Fi network I didn't give myself a way to easily get to the SD card because the only way to change it if that happens because you can't SSH into it the only way to change it if that happens is to um, change the files directly on the SD card but the problem is I put it inside of here it was inside this bitch um, so that means taking out all of the keycaps um, unscrewing all of the screws, removing the main board, and then removing the SD card, putting that in my computer. So I gave myself a little hole where you can access the SD card. So, that being said, here's the actual video. I'm gonna sort of walk through it with y'all. This is the switch to turn it on. I didn't give myself an indicator to say what was on and off, so um, that was a little confusing at first because the battery was dead. And this is me starting off by taking off all the keycaps and giving it a little blast so I can um, not feel so gross messing with it. And um, then removing the, the screws with my little automatic screwdriver thing y'all. I love this, I love this uh, tiny automatic screwdriver. It was 30 bucks, but it was worth it. I, I've used it so much. I've had this thing for a few months now and I've only charged it once. It's great. All right, so now we can crack this bitch open. And we see the the beautiful raspberry pi meat inside take the sd card out and um give it a nice in focus focus shot and look at my gross hands and then we can um plug it in and now all i'm doing here is like i said changing the wi-fi info and also uh, changing the script to what I thought was my IP address. Um, but it turns out my IP address changed, so I have to go back in later to change that again. So, go ahead, plug that back in. And I have to move the Pi so that I can um, make it reach that gnarly hole that I dug so that I can access the SD card while it's still inside the case. Um, so I have to extend some of the wires. I'm using this like $5 USB soldering iron 
and it was um it sucks it sucks so bad you see that you see where that red wire is going I, I had to I had to open this thing back up I didn't record it but I had to open it back up and resolder that joint because it just wasn't doing so I'd say you know if you're gonna buy a soldering iron maybe don't spend five dollars on it maybe maybe get a better one and then this is just me reconnecting the USB keyboard. How this thing works is uh, it pipes the input device, and there's the uh, there's the SD card port working, as you would think. I I I have to use tweezers when the case is fully on with the keycaps and everything. And putting the screws back onto the board, which I had to undo later to fix that solder joint, but oh well. Yeah, yeah, you'd be happy. And me forgetting what a keyboard layout looks like, so I have to Google it. Even though I have a keyboard right, uh, right here, actually. Hi. And then just uh, sticking all these keycaps back on, which is a fairly boring process, which I had to do twice. Yay! And this is pretty boring, so I'm just gonna skip this thing. Now, um, coming back to my desk, everything's back together, but the battery is pretty much dead. Uh, so I have to just, um, have a drink and plug it into my battery bank and we're gonna leave that for later and come back and it is now later I'm back I switch this thing on and you can see the power eventually does come on I, I've written a script that turns on the LEDs when it boots you can see it there and now you can see it working whenever I start up the uh, script that I use that means I got all the IP and target files right. So, after that, I realized that it might be kind of a pain in the ass to SSH into this thing every time I want to um, use it. So I tried to get it, to, so I tried to make a startup script. But for some reason, it was such a pain. Um, I ended up making a systemd service. And I got it working there briefly, and I realized that it doesn't start up correctly. So I have to make it so it detects when it's crashed and starts back up. So I've got it turned on. And now, hey, look at that. It, it came on. Great. Cool. Oh, shit. So exciting. All right. But that was a, that was a pretty cool project. It's 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 fully working now. Um, so basically, if I ever want to use it, I, I just flip the switch and wait a full minute for it to turn on. <laughs> it's wonderful. I love it. Um, I hope that you got some kind of enjoyment out of watching this video. Um, I've been working on it for a few days. It, it's not something that I... This is not my best work, but I thought it was fun to work on. Right. I, I think... I think this... this is obviously a very dumb... <laughs> this is obviously a very stupid piece of kit. But... Um... I had fun working on it. And that's all that matters because, really... Half of, half of why anyone does any of these types of projects is just because the project is fun to do. No, I, you know, you see, you see these people on these keyboards, subreddits, making like 17 different types of keyboards, but do you need 17 different types of keyboards? Why don't you make a dumb one every once in, <laughs> once in a while? Not, not hating on any of you guys. Uh, a place where I will surely be posting <laughs> this video to try and get some traction. So, 
Um, thank you all for watching. I know um, this is a little bit, this is actually a little bit shorter than most of my other videos, which is kind of crazy considering uh, I've probably um, recorded several hours worth of footage and this is kind of gotten boiled down. So, um, thank you again. I hope you have a good day. Uh, peace and hair grease, I guess.